He don't bust again, no. Yes, now nah. I don't come again. Come again, no. They kill us now. Nah, up, up with this, and they go. Doctor Agbakoba don't come out. A senior lawyer, a former president of Nigeria Bar Association, he talks say why would they give three hundred and sixty something days before the court will sit concerning the charges when Labour Party it will be charged. I met Bola Tinubu and Alan Chama to court. Why would they wait for that days? He said, if Kenya can do an order for 10 days, if Kenya can do an order for 10 days, he said, he go fit do an order one week, may they give him one week, make it solid the case for out. He said, why? Because if we give time for them to swear in Tinubu next month, May 29, he said, nobody go fit. Bring this case come out again. He said we sit on top of this case. Why? Because he is the president of Nigeria that time. Yes, now before I leave, we make we listen to the package. Make we don't forget. Say we have national IT on this platform. Don't forget to follow us on this page. Leave your comment for the comment section. Like it so that other people will see it too. Make we see waiting the guy talk. Not all. Joining us now on the morning show is Dr. Ulisa Agbakoba, a senior advocate of Nigeria and a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association. Good morning, uh, Dr. Agbakoba, and thank you for joining us on the morning show. Well, let's start with your... Good morning, Robin. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Uh, let's start with your proposal that uh, election petition cases at the presidential election tribunal can be concluded within seven days. Uh, if... Uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, so the, if, if the tribunal yeah. uh, takes uh, a more uh, 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 proactive uh, approach to it. But how feasible is that? Considering the fact that election uh, you know, petitions have time limitations, they have a time frame. The Constitution talks about 180 days. Uh, when you appeal, you have 60 days. Mm. And then we're dealing with an election in which you probably have over 10,000 polling units. How do you do all of that within seven days mm. and before May 29? Uh, shouldn't you yeah. be recommending that the Constitution has to be reviewed first? That challenge about time limitation should be addressed and properly defined. Otherwise, how would uh, the courts do it in seven days or before May 29? Yeah, thank you very much. No, no. Uh, there's a, there's a context in which I've, I've recommended that we should finish the petitions as fast as possible. And I think seven days is a good time to go. The fact that the Constitution prescribes a time limit doesn't mean that that time limit must actually run. So the context of my call is that the policy is overheated. The other day, the Minister of Information is accusing Mr. Peter Obi of treason. People want interim government. There are all kinds of things going around. There's a whole shabang of things that seems to want to destabilize Nigeria. The DSS is shouting that there are people who are all over the place doing things. And the simple problem is just to resolve the election petitions. So the question is not whether it is doable, it is whether it can be done. So I start by saying that the judicial philosophy of Nigeria is about 100 years old. Nigeria is not known for speed. Why is it possible that Ghana finishes its own election petition in 30 days? So why can't we also do it here? Why should we have 360 days to do something that is fairly simple? So the new international gold standard, and I sit as a senior arbitrator in, in, in the city of London, and what we do is we apply case management. So my first recommendation is to say, the issues presented to the tribunals, are they amenable to quick resolution? And I think there are three issues which you've outlined that are amenable to quick resolution, one way or the other. Now, under the Kenyan procedure, those, procedure, those questions that I've set out, I decided on exactly one day. So if I was the presiding judge of the tribunal, I would give two hours to the petitioner to establish the case whether 25% of 
uh, FCT is relevant in the consideration of who is the president or not. I would give time to Mr. Tinubu's people to reply, and I'll deliver a ruling at 6 p.m. What, what's the difficulty? These are purely matters of law. So it is absolutely feasible. If those three questions do not succeed, then the part A of the petition would be now to do what you say, take the issue of electoral malpractice, which I concede will be a lot longer. But I have a strong feeling that those three questions I have set out can resolve the petition one way or the other. And it can be done in seven days. If, if Kenya can do it in 14 days, why do we need 360 days to do our own? Uh, are we not more highly judicially educated than Kenya? So come on, let's... I mean, and I also, would, without criticizing the lawyers in the petition, since they filed the petition, I haven't heard anything from them. There's all sorts of procedures by which you can front load a case, push it, set out procedural issues, set out jurisdictional issues for the tribunal to determine. That's number one. Two, the tribunal itself can offer its own motion, so or more to raise questions. So we've read all these petitions, and we think we can dispose of this petition if we set out some questions that, if taken, can resolve the entire thing. I'm concerned that the polity is overheated, and the way to go is to see if we can get the petitions resolved before May 29. The elections were in in February, that's about four months. What's the difficulty about resolving these cases well before the handover? Kenya has a procedure whereby they lay out a policy, there shall be no inauguration until the petitions are complete. And in the OAS uh, uh, panel, which I was a member, we, we set out that procedure. There's a certain unfairness for a petitioner to challenge the president, a president-elect who goes on to get inaugurated. That's what's causing all the problem. So let's give it a go. Let the judiciary give it a go. Let the lawyers in the, in the tribunal give it a go to see whether we cannot accomplish what I've described in my letter. And the story of today may be that. As you don't see her now, you see her not throw her talk. Make you help me share her. Make you help me like her. Make you comment so that other people will see her too. When they know what they happen. People will never know what they happen. Now so it be my people.